Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about expense tracking. I think that I have some convincing to do. I think y'all need some convincing on why you should be expense tracking in the first place. So I thought that I would tell you just how expense tracking has changed my life for the better. So yes, I will show you my template and it is available at the link in the description box. It is the price of buying me a coffee. The only reason why I'm charging for this template is that it's taken me like a year and a half to really tinker with it and to make it perfect. It's a very basic template and there's nothing like too special about it other than the fact that I have created it so that it is the most simple but effective expense tracker that I've personally used. So again, there are budgeting templates in Notion, but mine is a little bit special because it just truly works so well at giving me the information that I need and the organization that I need, but not taking a lot of time to fill it out. And I can also fill it out on the go, which is super important to me because I like to keep track of my expenses while they are happening so that at the end of the month I don't have a ton of admin work to do because I think that if you are going from not expense tracking at all to trying to do a ton of admin work like you're going to hate your life and you're going to be like why am I doing this and you're not going to see that it's worth it so I'm going to tell you exactly how I use the tracker how often I update it I'm going to give you pretty much everything about expense tracking but basically by the end of this video I want you to be convinced to try out expense tracking and then and just see if it changes your life. I think it will. I was hanging out with my friend and old coworker the other day, Jill, and she's been expense tracking because I influenced her for six months now and she said that it absolutely changed her life. So I just want you to try it. What do you have to lose? You know, um, getting acquainted with your money and knowing exactly where your money is going is only going to help you. Knowledge is power and I think it's really interesting that a lot of us know exactly how much money is coming in every single month, you know, like a lot of us that have a fixed income, you know, if we have a nine to five, we know how much our paychecks are. Every two weeks, we know exactly what's going into our bank account, but most people don't know what's going out of their bank account, which means that a lot of times what's going out of your bank account is higher than what you're bringing in, and that is a recipe for disaster. You'll be living outside of your means, you won't be able to get ahead, you'll get yourself into credit card debt. There are so many negatives to not knowing exactly where your money is going, so taking the step to get acquainted with where your money is going is going to change your life in itself. You're just gonna feel so much more organized and at peace and knowing that you're taking the step for yourself is also just like a great feeling like you're taking care of your financial life so let me give you an intro to what my expense tracker looks like and how I use it and then we'll get into all of the little benefits um, every single month I have a new sheet that I I have a template that I just duplicate in my notion by the way notion is free and then you duplicate it for the next month and my template has a couple of recurring expenses that I have every month so I don't have to repopulate them um, and so I just duplicate it and then I basically start with my first transaction of the month that is always my rent on the first of every month and basically the categories that I have in my expense tracker is a the expense and so this is basically where I write um, exactly where I purchased this item or like who I sent the money to kind of thing and then there's a column that's what did I buy and then I have the amount of course and then I separate it into categories and I have these pre-selected labels and I love this category section because I've added filters where I can view exactly how much I spent in a certain category so throughout the month I will check in on like how much have I spent on groceries this month and see how I'm doing how much have I spent on restaurants and takeout so that's something that's really important to me is to keep things categorized and labeled and then at the end of the end of the month too I can see exactly how much I spent on each category then I will put in the date it's really easy it's just a calendar view that pops up and you tap on the date I write down the payment method. So for me, I have four different payment methods that I can choose from. That's my checking account and then my three credit cards. So again, these are pre-selected labels. Then I have a status button where it's either confirmed, estimated, or upcoming. And so this helps for at the end of the month when I'm going through each transaction, I will set it to confirmed once I've gone through my bank statements and I've put them in and I know that that transaction is accurate and it's been tracked. 
Then I also have a column that is essential or non-essential. So this just helps me see like how much am I spending on my needs and how much am I spending on my wants. It does a really good job of giving me enough information but not too much and I don't have it, you know, split up into, you know, this percentage of my income is going here, this percentage is here. I love how it's just in categories and so when I'm going back and looking at this, I see like wow, I spent $800 on clothes this month. That is way too much. Next month, I will be a bit more mindful. So I find that expense tracking works really well for me to have like a more intuitive approach to money and to base it off of how I feel. So I will go through each transaction. And if you're interested, I actually film what I spend in a month videos on YouTube where I do go through every single transaction that I spent. And I like to think about it. I like to think about how did this transaction make me feel? Was this worth it? Was this not worth it? And it helps me to make decisions for my future without any strict budgeting or guidelines. So how I update the spreadsheet is I try to update it as immediately as possible. So as soon as I tap my credit card, when I'm walking away from the grocery store, I pull out my phone and I update it. As soon as I get an email that there was a charge on my credit card, I go in, I update it. I do a lot of the updating on my phone and I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the mobile version, but that's one reason that I absolutely love Notion is that I can update it on my computer and on my phone. So I try to stay on top of it and then if I ever, you know, it's a really busy time and I just get behind. On the weekend, I'll go through and I'll make sure that I put in my transactions, but I try and only do a handful at a time because I find that if I get to the point where I have like 20 transactions to add in, I'm not motivated to do it and I'm frustrated with myself that I didn't keep on top of it. So my tip is update it as often as you can and it's just less of a burden, right? Like for me, it literally takes 20 seconds to input a transaction as opposed to a couple of hours having to sort through all of my statements. Um, but at the end of the month, I do go through all of my statements. So I go through every credit card. My credit cards have an app where I can look through the transactions. I also go through my checking account and I cross-reference. But cross-referencing to confirm is a lot easier than having to input the transactions and then cross-referencing to confirm kind of thing. So I personally like to chip away at it all throughout the month. So I'm gonna show you how I um, update this on mobile. So basically as soon as I spend my money, as I said, when I'm walking out of the store, I will pull up my Notion. It's on my homepage of my iPhone and then I tap new and then I fill out everything. So if I was getting groceries, I write Safeway. Then I put in the amount. So I just put a random amount, $40 category i will go and tap groceries date i'll add today's date i will select the payment method the status i'll go confirmed if there's no additional details that i need to give i will do the type so groceries is essential and then i'll write what i bought and if it's basic like i literally just write groceries something specific i'll write like baking ingredients but for the most part if i'm just buying groceries whatever but um, i think that this is really helpful especially if there's places that you go for example, like Shoppers Drug Mart for me, which is just like a drug mart where you can buy makeup and skincare and groceries. I like to write like what I bought there because then it helps me categorize. And sometimes when I look back, I won't be able to remember exactly what I bought. So I find that really helpful. So that's how I update it on the go. And then it just goes right into my spreadsheet. And it's just, it's just a beautiful thing. It's just a beautiful thing. And I love how I can go back. I can literally look at my spending from 2021, from 2022. And I can see where my money is going. I can see like, you know, how much my spending has increased in a certain category or decreased. It just gives you so much knowledge. And I think that it's a really great habit to get into. So let's go into, I've already mentioned a lot of the benefits, but if I were to like sum it up, how expense tracking has changed my life, let me give you the facts. So the first way that it has changed my life is facing my finances head on. Before I started expense tracking, I could not tell you how much money I spent every month. I had no idea. And that's not a great place to be because once again, I knew exactly how much money was coming in, but I didn't know how much was going out. And when you are a bit muddy and not clear on your finances, it's hard to have clarity in your financial goals. It's pretty much hard to do anything. If you're just living in the state of like, you know, whatever, 
whatever is coming in, whatever is going out, like you're not going to be able to reach any goals. You're not going to have any idea of like really how your financial health and what well-being is. So the first thing is like the biggest benefit was for me to just get a baseline. Like the first month that I started tracking, it was eye-opening. I had no idea how much money I was spending on certain things or I didn't know that I was actually doing really well with groceries. I was actually like a really good grocery shopper and I was able to keep it under a certain amount. So it just gives you more information about yourself and it gives you information of what you need to work on. The second thing is that it has helped me get a better picture of my lifestyle and specifically keeping an eye on lifestyle creep. So for me in the past like year and a half, my income has increased significantly. And that's mainly because I started earning a lot more income with my side hustle, which is like influencing content creation. And my spending has increased quite a bit from 2021 to now 2023. And it's something that I am paying close attention to. I think that with lifestyle creep, it's kind of something that naturally happens. If you have more money to spend, you're likely going to spend it. And for me, my benchmark is that so long as I'm still reaching my investing goals and that I'm still investing as much money and saving and putting aside the money that I want to, I allow myself to increase my spending. But expense tracking is the way that I've been able to keep a very close eye on lifestyle creep and um, to know like when it's getting a little bit out of control. And it's something that I'm still working on because truly if I showed you the numbers from like 2021 to this year, like it's not pretty. Um, however, it doesn't give me so much anxiety because I'm so aware of where that money is going. I know exactly like how much my income has increased. Um, and then at the same time, I know how much my spending has increased. So it allows me to make informed decisions and it allows me to be less emotional about it and more like pragmatic and making like decisions and um, observations based on facts and data as opposed to emotions. And the third way that expense tracking has truly changed my life is that I'm a lot more mindful and intentional with my spending. My goal is not to spend the least amount of money possible. My goal is truly to be happy, healthy, and fulfilled. And expense tracking has allowed me to step into that place where I'm spending from my like authentic self and with intention. And I love how I'm doing the transaction twice. So I am paying for the item and then I'm reflecting on it later. So often we are buying things and we're not reflecting on whether or not we felt good about that purchase. And so it has made me like so mindful. And once again, it hasn't decreased my spending. Um, my life has changed and I've been increasing my spending, but I'm spending in line with my values and when I look back on it and I see that I spent a lot of money on my health this month I'm happy about that or I spent a lot of money on gifts this month that's something that's a value to me and so I can look at that and be proud and be happy and not be stressed about it so it's completely changed the way that I spend my money I feel like I used to be extremely frugal and I had a really hard time spending my money and now I feel more in flow I feel more in control um, I just feel completely different with my money than I did before I started tracking so I hope that I have convinced you that you should at least try this. At least try it for a month. You don't need to go ahead and purchase my tracker right away. This is not a video just to sell my tracker. Um, I want you to do what feels right to you. If you need to just try it out and try like a basic notes app or anything that you need, try it. And if it's something you wanna continue with, maybe you can come back and purchase my tracker. Um, again, like no pressure at all. I want you to do the system that works for you. This is just the system that I have like sort of perfected and then it just like works amazing for me and I've been able to get all of these benefits from it. So um, if you expense track already, let me know what method you use or what like where you expense track. And I'd also love to know if you feel like it's expense tracking has like improved your life. I would love to know in like what ways, do you have any similarities to me or is it completely different? I would love to talk about it in the comments. So thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in these financial type videos, I have a lot of them on my page. I do what I spend in the months. I've done a lot of videos on investing and I think that there's lots of good stuff there that um, you'd, you'd be interested in if you like this video. So again, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.